Today I'm going to show you how to wrap a tenon so that it fits nicely into the socket. Um, people like cork because cork is compressible and it's easy, but string or thread tenons are great. You can do it home by yourself um, if, if you're that kind of person. Um, and uh, you can get it exactly the way you want it. And if you don't like it, just send to us and we'll cork the tenon. I used to wrap tenons like this, and that's being careful to go back and forth. The problem with that is that it doesn't compress. This is doesn't compress at all, it's like stone. Um, also what happens when you do it that way is, and we see a lot of these with flutes, the string winds up migrating toward the inside here and it's a mess you see someone has put all kinds of stuff on there it's a nasty looking thing that's what we don't want to see if you wrap a tenon correctly you should never have to put anything on it and please don't so that's no cork grease don't put oil on it don't put uh, we see a lot of people take um beeswax and melt it onto their onto the thread it doesn't do anything it's just a mess so here's what you need a little piece of beeswax or uh, paraffin wax is fine thread it can be any kind of thread uh, what we use is cotton um, a sewing needle be careful with those a pair of scissors I have a tiny little pair that works and what we use to secure the first layer of thread onto the tenon is uh, Ferese and this is shellac that's dissolved in alcohol and it it's pretty gooey it's like blackstrap molasses and that's what we use to put pads on it's also what we use to start the, uh, the tenon so here I have a number of dowels that I can stick in here and that way I can turn the thing while I'm putting the thread on it you can make some kind of thing or you don't have to you can just do it all like this but see that's a nice thing okay let's get started I just dropped the thread into a jar so it doesn't go all over the place put a little bit of this stuff on a thin layer you don't have to use this you can use fingernail polish or um, lacquer if you can get it on there before the lacquer dries I wouldn't use any kind of glue because if you have to take this stuff off it's a mess please no crazy glue okay so I'm getting started by putting just a thin layer of this stuff over the whole tenon and you know, why are we doing this the reason is you don't want the whole thing the whole ball of thread to turn so this keeps it from turning if it starts to turn you can't get it in or out very easily so there we go a thin layer Then we start. And I do one layer straight across. Like I told you not to. All right. So that's all. Then what I do is I wrap it at an angle, probably a little less than 45, over and over and over again, just advancing it uh, a few millimeters. So I'm going like this again and again and again. And if you're tired of doing it that way, you can turn it this way. And what this does 
it's thread wrapped over thread nicely so that it's compressible. And also, if you do it this way, it won't roll off the end. <laughs> Which drives me crazy. And like I said before, you don't have to put anything on it. And please don't put anything on it. So that's looking nice. And you have your your socket, your head ready to check. And we're just about there. I'll do a few more wraps. If you see it trying to get away, you can just take it and move the thread back toward the center. Okay, so I think we're almost there. So I cut it off about a foot here. And wax this just so it, the outer part won't move. Wax. And continue in the same way. And I think that might be enough. Carefully, we're going to pull this through. And when you do, when you're trying to thread that needle, you got to breathe. If you start holding your breath, you'll never get in there. And sometimes it takes more than a few tries, especially when you're old. Oh, look at that. That's great. Pull it through. Tighten it a little bit. Cut off the excess. You might want to leave a little bit showing so... You'll know where it is if you have to do anything. And there you go. Perfect tin. Compressible. Neat. And pretty.